I really love what I'm doing right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a business, mm -hmm. uh, I have a friend, mm -hmm. and I have a passion. So everything here. Mm -hmm. So I am okay mm -hmm. to live here. Uh -huh. I don't need to go back to Japan. <laughs> guys welcome back to empire group productions my name is shiko gitao and we are here with the one and only ikoki tree my guys we are about to get entertained first of all you look amazing asante sana wow so you've learned a little bit of swahili <laughs> kidogo too kidogo pole 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 it's pole 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 yeah pole 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 <laughs> You're trying. Okay. <laughs> anyway, how have you been? I've been so nice. Mm -hmm. How about you? I'm good too. And uh, um, if guys you're wondering Labda where we, we are at the hub current where um, Koki Tree is uh, still in uh, his uh, business schedule but at least Ali was a spare some time for us to get uh, to have an interview with him. Now before we even start the interview, maybe you can tell us a little bit about your, your, your attire. This is a samurai. 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 Uh -huh. Samurai. Mm -hmm. Japanese soldier. All the schools. Mm -hmm. So... <laughs> so probably uh, here, in, <laughs> here in Kenya, uh, do you get to use it that much? No. People don't know but it's like the uh, same as uh, Kung Fu uh -huh. and Samurai. Mm -hmm. It's like... Some related to that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh, Koki, maybe for those people who are probably... I know we have done an interview with you before, but somewhere else, uh, for those uh, probably who are seeing you for the first time, maybe you can tell us your name and probably uh, uh, what brought you in, into uh, Kenya. My name... Ah, sorry. Uh -huh. Naito wa Koki, Nimetoka Japan, Nimekuja Kanairo, Naju wa Kidogo, Kisubahiri, Napenda, Kenya, Napenda, Wewe. Unapendwa, Wewe, Unapendwa, na Koki Tri. Anyway, I have a question. Uh, have you like uh, gone through Swahili classes here in Kenya? No. Hapana. So all this you learn when you're interacting with people? Yes. You must be a good student yeah. then. Uh, how, uh, for how long have you been in the country? Uh, tattoo. Miyaka tattoo. Miyaka tattoo. Three years. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, and uh, maybe someone out there would really love to know uh, what brought you into uh, Kenya. Mm. The reason why I am here is because uh, I love adventure mm -hmm. and then uh, I love what I, I don't know so I want to know mm -hmm. by, my, by, my, by my eyes and then I, I, I really want to go mm -hmm. somewhere where I, I, I never been to there uh -huh. yeah so this means you discovered Kenya on your discovering journey yes discovering myself and discovering my uh, purpose to live Wow, so how many countries have you been to? Um, it's not so many. Uh, actually, I was in Canada. Um, I went to, I just uh, traveling Europe mm -hmm. and then I came to uh, Rwanda. Mm -hmm. I stayed three, three months. After that, I came here. You came to Canada? Mm. Now, um, you, you said you've been to Canada. You've uh, traveled uh, in different countries in Europe. You've yeah. been to Rwanda. Does it mean that Kenya is where you've stayed for the longest time? Yeah, this is the longest in my life. Uh, maybe in Bona? Kwanini Kenya? Where like... Kwa Sabab. I... I live here. <laughs> to meet friends mm -hmm. because I have friends here. Uh -huh. Yeah. You've already found like a family in Kenya. Uh, not really, mm -hmm. but not actually. But I have nice friends, uh -huh. like family. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, so speaking of business, you know, uh, we can say, or many Kenyans say, like times have changed. There has been maybe a rough time economically. How have you managed? Um, always I am trying best. Mm -hmm. um, not only me, I, we are trying best. Mm -hmm. Depend on the situation, like COVID, mm -hmm. like elections. Like coldness, people are always businesses like this. Absolutely. But uh, we are enjoying uh -huh. with such kind of different uh, changes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you uh, maybe tried business in other countries that you have been to before? No, I never tried. This is the first time. Who gave you the idea of maybe starting a business in Kenya? I have a mentor mm -hmm. and uh, like teacher. So he's staying in Japan, but he has so many business and he's working all over the world. So he's coming sometimes and he, he's teaching me how to do it, how to cooking, how to management, how to uh, talk people, <laughs> everything. Uh <-huh. laughs> so I'm still a student. <laughs> so in the meantime, uh, Maybe for me, I know that you own maybe uh, several restaurants here in Nairobi. Are there other businesses that you have tried? Uh, we, start, we started to import Japanese food items. Mm -hmm. So that is our new challenge. Mm -hmm. And then after import, uh, we start to dis distribute to the supermarkets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Local supermarkets. Uh -huh. Yeah. So. After that, you decided to do the restaurants? No, uh, that is the next step. So, first step will be the restaurants. Mm -hmm. We got three branches in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. And then, because we use a lot of Japanese ingredients, mm -hmm. so we decided to bring the, the uh, ingredients from Japan direct by containers. Uh -huh. Yeah. Then, after bring, uh, we have so many goods here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So, we started import and then distribute uh -huh. to the supermarket and then Japanese other Japanese restaurant mm -hmm. that's what we are trying now, right now yeah so you stated that you have uh, three branches of the restaurants maybe you can uh, state the three branches uh, so one, one for new Musaika shopping mall mm -hmm. one for Salit center mm -hmm. one for the hub Karen mm -hmm. which is here so we have uh, three restaurants of uh, the Japanese restaurants owned by none other than Koki Tree. So we have one here at the Hub Karen. We have another one at Sarit Center and another one at the New Mutaiga Shopping yes. Center. Yes. Cindy, wow. And uh, I'd really love to know, maybe for the restaurants in a day, probably roughly, mm. how much does it bring? Roughly. Like, you don't have to give like the exact figure. Yeah. That depends. Depends on the day, like for example, weekday and the weekends is a totally different. Mm -hmm. So weekend, we, weekends are, we, we go to uh, roughly like uh, over, uh, around, around uh, 80,000 or something. And then week, weekdays is less than 50,000, mm -hmm. so it depends. Yeah. So weekly, less than 50,000, the five days am I in a single day? Uh, uh, single days. Wow, that's good business. That's good. <laughs> and uh, uh, probably, uh, what about your customers? Are they majorly from uh, Japan? Um, you also get uh, customers who are Kenyans? Our customer is Kenyan. Whoa. Yeah, lo we focus local people mm -hmm. and then we focus to spread out Japanese food. Uh -huh. So that's why we don't take, we don't put uh, a lot of uh, uh, like uh, we don't, we, our food is not expensive mm -hmm. uh, as as a Japanese restaurant do. Mm -hmm. So we do like casual, uh, affordable price, mm -hmm. and then we have big portions mm -hmm. so that people love it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> now um, let's now uh, move to another sector which I know you love so much, dancing. And of late, Koki, I've seen you doing uh, the surprise thing. I've seen you oh. yeah, do surprise for people. Maybe they have birthdays, anniversaries, and things like that. Maybe, uh, what, who gave you that idea of t uh, trying out this thing? Uh, I saw the Moya David. Mm -hmm. 
and that is my inspiration. And then I love what he doing, he's doing. So I just try to catch up, and then I try to imitate, mm -hmm. and then people are enjoying. Mm -hmm. So I love, I I love to entertain people. So that's what I do. So these days we have seen that Moya David actually charges people uh, to do such small surprises. So for Koki, do you like charge? I, I don't charge. Yeah, sure, it's absolutely free. Yeah, of course. That is my passion, so I don't charge. Even if I'm becoming popular, mm -hmm. I don't charge. So if my director right here asks you to surprise his girlfriend, you'll do it? Of course, yeah. For free? For free. Uh, but give me transport. <laughs> it's for, give me for boda boda transport, please. So that means a little bit. Yeah, just a little for transport. For transport okay. Yeah, yeah. Take care. Okay. So guys, here is a cookie tree doing surprises for your girlfriends, for your boyfriends, for your loved ones. All you need to is to do is uh, uh, give him the location and probably something small for the transportation. <laughs> Nothing much. Nothing much. So um, you know we have seen uh, Moya David do it, do it. We have seen you do it. We have seen also other people on TikTok and other social media platforms doing it. But now. We have had Kenyans asking people to be, not to stop copying Moya David. I don't know whether you have had such comments. I, I didn't know. Mm -hmm. sure. <laughs> yeah. We have seen uh, people telling uh, other people now to stop like copying Moya David and oh. do the original. Why is that? <laughs> they probably think they are making business hard for Moya David since it was their, his idea. Oh. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I think yeah, that makes sense somehow mm -hmm. because uh, everything idea has must be uh, copyright mm -hmm. So that is makes sense, mm -hmm. but for me uh, what I want to do is I want to make entertain uh -huh. I, I want to entertain people. Mm -hmm. so I just think some other ideas to do to surprise people so it doesn't matter all you want to do is to make people happy. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. So, so far, maybe how many, roughly how many people have you surprised? Uh, not, not too many. So, because that's, uh, I, I just try a few days, start a few days ago. Uh -huh. <laughs> then, then I realize people love it. So, I definitely uh, want to try, especially people who deserve uh, at our restaurant. Maybe I can practice some dancing. Mm -hmm. Then I can uh -huh. uh, surprise them. And I've seen you do it with your like workers. Let me yeah, yeah. put it that way. So, like, what time do you? Cause um, I, I can see, like uh, you, you you have customers to serve. So when do you like practice with your workers for you to surprise your customers? Oh, uh, you mean like uh, I surprise the worker and the customer, right? Yeah, what I'm uh, trying to ask is, you said like you, you, you surprise your customers, right? Mm -hmm. You also do it together with some of the people that you work with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when do you like practice it? Um, you know, like uh, I always looking for some time, mm -hmm. and I squeeze some small time, then I can practice, and then I can do it. I don't practice a lot, <laughs> like whole day or half a day. I don't do it. Mm -hmm. Just a few minutes, and just so one at least one hour and then we focus practice and then just do it uh -huh. do they probably ask you to pay them to do it? no 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 oh. never never it's free. yeah it's free uh -huh. just for friends <laughs> do you have maybe any upcoming a uh, project that you're planning mm, right now i don't have for dance project right right now i don't have ideas but i can maybe i know so many people are uh, want to try it so if i have time i can work with them yeah wow great and uh just to finish up on our interview koki i've seen you do rounds or uh, doing a few things with children i've seen you at kangemi yeah, yeah. trying to do some uh, dances with the people out there how 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 is life probably at uh, the ghetto passing since I've seen you there. Okay. Uh, nowadays, I start to support uh, disability peoples mm -hmm. uh, 
who, who, are, who live in around the uh, slum area and also the schools, uh, poor school, uh, poor people schools which are located in the slum area. So that, uh, that is also my passion to support the people who, uh, who doesn't get, who, who, who doesn't have uh, chance opportunities to, to grow them, their life or to, to independence. So that is my passion. So what I can do is I can make food, uh, which is free, and I can do dance class, also which is free, and then uh, we support the children and then disability people as much as possible. That is my passion. I don't know whether you are aware of this uh, gospel artist by the name Daddy Owen. Daddy Owen. Okay, uh, he's a Kenyan gospel artist who also supports uh, people with disability and I thought probably you guys are uh, having like something like a collab in doing this work of supporting people with a disability but you're doing it all alone? Yeah. Funds? Funds. Are you funding yourself all alone? Yeah, from uh, everything uh, coming from our small profit uh, out of business. Mm -hmm. Wow, are you planning maybe to involve other ag agencies that have uh, the same idea and uh, a goal as yours? Uh, what we want to do is we want to support sustainable, sustainably and then long, long term. Okay. It's not like short and it's not like uh, the big the organization to involve. Right now we, we, we just doing whatever you can, we can so that we, we don't have so much pressure press mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. So we can focus business and while focus, sometimes we can go and then we can support, we can sharing mm -hmm. what we have so that we are happy. Mm -hmm. mm. Then uh, while expanding our business, mm -hmm. also I want to expand for supporting the people, number of people. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to do. Wow. That's great. Now, uh, Koki, uh -huh. so um most I'm people yeah so most people have uh, uh maybe know you out of uh, the clips you used to do with mula mm -hmm. and these guys these days we can't see you doing such things with Mulamua. yes mm -hmm. <laughs> also i miss such kind of uh, clips mm -hmm. but maybe if you, yeah as i mentioned before if I have opportunity, I can do it, but if not, I can just focus what I can do right now. So, so does it mean it's because of business that's why we are not seeing you much together? I think that, I'm not sure, <laughs> but of course I'm doing what, I'm, uh, what I want and he's doing what he wants. So it depends, like, uh, if there is timing to do together, we can, of course, uh, for me, it's welcome always. Yeah. When was the last time you guys talked? Uh, I think half a year ago. Nowadays I didn't texting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's quite a long time. Yeah, but <laughs> not only him. I think uh, some uh, the many comedian I I spoke with with many comedian before, but not not like uh, uh, some people. Are just uh, doing one time and then two times and then yeah so depends <laughs> mm -hmm. but so there's nothing bad between the two nothing bad yeah nothing battle nothing problem mm -hmm. but just we focus each uh -huh. other yeah now my last question I know uh, you have been in the country now for the third year or, or three years um, are you planning like to have the Kenyan citizenship? Yes, I, ha I want. You want. I don't know whether you are like permitted to like vote during this hmm? period. Are you like at this time? Are you right, uh, like permitted to vote? No, I don't have any right uh -huh. to vote. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh, Cookie, probably uh, people out there would love uh, to know at this stage, I'm sure you haven't yet acquired the Kenyan citizenship, right? Yes, so, not yet. So, are you allowed to vote or something like that? No. Not yet? I don't have yeah, any rights. Uh -huh. So, in the meantime, uh, probably I know you have like a message to Kenyans during this electioneering period. 
So I can see um, this election time, uh, this is for first time for me to see the elections uh, in the countries. But I can see everywhere in Kenya uh, the election car, uh, the, the putting a lot of the loud music, and then people are dancing, people are singing, people are talking a lot. And then it's not, it's not uh, same as Japan. Japan is election time, it's so quiet. People never gonna do things like Kenyan. So uh, I feel like so much energy from young people and then also politicians. I think they have passion to want to, want to change something uh, something like system or a society or some futures so I like that passion uh, Kenya is very young and then people are still young and then people have a lot of energy so I, I think uh, Kenya will be changed and then improve a lot uh, with economies so yeah <laughs> yeah I, I, yeah for me, uh, advice is, um, uh, can I try again, sorry, <laughs> from there. Uh, hmm. I think um, people have energy, people have passion, but people doesn't have opportunities, and then people doesn't have a chance to put their effort or their passion. So uh, we, we hope uh, they will make the opportunity to young people and then um, uh, in terms of economy and in terms of everything so that people can success. And if people can success, country will be success, economy success, and then we will get, yeah, everything will be okay. So uh, as we finalize uh, the interview, uh, probably where can people find you on your social media platforms? I have uh, Instagram, uh, TikTok, and then YouTube. So you can search Koki Nyage Koki or uh, Koki Nakaya, and then you can definitely find find me. Yes. Thank you so much uh, for your time. That has been our guest for today, Anajulika Nakama Koki Tree. So if you search Koki anywhere on all social media platforms, then you are going uh, to find him. In the meantime, remember, you can also find us on all social media platforms at Empire Group Productions. Empire Group Productions. Thank you so much for watching this video and uh, the person behind the camera is none other than the super director, that is King Trevor. Thank you. Naito Koki in Metoka Japan. I am a dancer and then I am a businessman and then I am a comedian. Uh, kindly please subscribe Empire Group Production. Check it out. <laughs>